All right, here in round three, this is definitely a keepable hand. We don't have a red source currently, but this hand is definitely still pretty satisfactory. We've got our champ and our burning tree, the two key components to this deck. So um, I think we're fine. Uh, we may just do champ into Boros Elite into Emissary, because that'll open us up for if we open a if we top deck a Mauler. Um, if we top deck a Mauler, we'll at least be able to play it third turn off the Emissary plus get the Battalion or a Searing Spear in a pinch. But we will see. Looks like our opponent mulled to six and red. All right. Looks like we've got ourselves some sort of red, uh, red deck of some sort. Probably red-green aggro. So I think it's going to be in our best interest to... Emissary Searing Spear next turn, take out the Noble, since Noble does, in fact, get through every single aspect of our deck. Oh, perfect, actually. Perfect. All right. Going to 14. Three cards left in his hand. Now we just got to capitalize. So we're going to do Emissary and Searing Spear now, while we still have the opportunity. No red source for that Fire Fist Striker, but the Searing Spear makes this a lot more peaceful for us. So desperately could use a, a red source here, that would help. Let's see, he's got the Flint Hoof Boar. A Reckoner. All right. Well, let's get a red source, and that'll make this a lot easier. Um, that's actually acceptable. All right. Got to take it. Actually, no, I think that's fine. Rampager. All right. Mayor here? Yeah, Mayor actually lets us get in. Let's play the mayor and swing with the champ. We swing with all three. Let's see. This, he would take 10 damage going to six, eat our Hamlet captain. He would go to six, though, which means if he cracked back, we'd be able to kill him if we got a red source. Let's see. Makes it a little more challenging. One card left in hand. Let's just swing with the champ here. I've got an idea. We're, I mean, we're going to be doing some blocking here, but the Hamlet Captain should make this a little bit better. Okay, so all right. What I think we're gonna do is, um, let's see. I take it. Could have Gore Clan Rampager, in which case we die. Otherwise, I have Lethal and Crackback. Hmm. Should we take seven, but then we die to Gore Clan Rampager? The second one? I 
do feel like we need to block here. This is a challenging, challenging decision, and definitely the decision that'll ultimately decide the game. Um, if he's got Gorland Rampager, we're dead. I can triple block the Gore Clan Rampager, and even if he has a Rampager, he'll lose them both and I'll be I'll be left with one creature. I think that's our best block. So we're actually going to triple block here. Our guys are going to get bigger. He did have the second Rampager. This is actually okay. If he has the Burn spell, we're in bigger trouble, but this is actually okay. Okay. This actually worked out decently. Got rid of two Rampagers. His last card is a Burn spell, too. No, he's waiting for damage to be assigned. Confused. This is like glowing rapidly. I wonder if he arranged something incorrectly. Okay. And a cackler. No cards left in hand. And he's leashing it, I see. Alright. Um, Alright, well, in that case, we'll swing at the champ. And we'll play a Temple Garden tapped. And we'll play a Boros Elite. Okay. Oh, he drew a land. And he's left with a Boros Reckoner. Okay. Um, looks like we just... I think we, uh, let's see, just swing champ, and then he'll have to reckoner the champ, but if I, if we swing with all three, the problem is he probably first strikes and kills one of our guys. Yeah, I think the best move is, is attack with just champ, so we'll attack with just our champion, I could have played the champ too, but I feel like there's more value here. Yeah. Just does it to my face. Well, then I'm glad I didn't play the champ. So we're in a burn range here, but we're forcing him to draw it. All right, did not top deck the burn. That's good for us. So beat him on the mole. Still very close. Uh, near Heath Pilgrims, once again, absolutely essential in this match. Searing Spears coming in. I don't like the Boros Charms as much anymore. Although they're useful, I don't like them as much in this match. Um, we're just much more, much more relevant just interacting with this board. Frontline Medic is absolutely essential in this match. It's one of our few ways to actually be able to attack into Reckoner. Um, Fire Fist Striker also grants that, so both of those creatures are absolutely essential in this match. Um, we need to make one more cut to put in the Searing Spear. So, 
for the Near Heath Pilgrim, maybe we can take out one of our Lightning Maulers, although I do like how explosive they are. Uh, let's take out one Mauler for the extra Pilgrim, or Searing Spear, or however you want to look at it. So we're going to run it like this, and try again. Um, this hand is uh, p potentially very good. Potentially very, very good. I think it actually is worthy of a keep. Uh, we have two. We have our two key components. Obviously, we're missing a land, but any sort of land will help us um, with this current situation. So this is actually okay. Cackler is not as devastating as a noble would be. Um, let's see. So the question is, do I want to play Pilgrim or Champ here? Pilgrim will let us do Elite and Champ next turn, so I think actually Pilgrim is the best play. Um, even if we draw the land for the Emissary, we'll still be able to play the champ off the Pilgrim into Emissary into Firefist Striker or something like that. So this hand is very explosive, potentially just a matter of how well can we do it here. All right, let's see if he's got the Emissary follow-up. He does indeed. The double Emissary. Quite the hand. Um, okay, let's see what we can do here. Well, that was essential. Okay, so now actually our best play is this, take some damage, and I think we do Emissary Mayor. Um... That way we could block, I think it's probably our best bet. That way we can block his dudes one at a time to take them down. Otherwise we could do Fire Fist Striker now, which also isn't bad. It's not, that's a, that's a fair, fair choice. I guess we could, well, why, why don't we do Striker instead? This way we can uh, block his two emissaries, have outs for them, possibly start to rebuild. Obviously can't do much about the Gorklan Rampager, however, um, that's okay. Gotta do what we gotta do. Um, interesting choice. I guess he was just going to see if I was going to block or not. Um, could take another 2, go to 12, get the frontline medic down. I'm not too opposed to that. Otherwise, we have to do champ Boros Elite, which also isn't that terrible. I guess we could do champ Mayor, take 2. And what that does is start building this, gets us a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, let's do that. A little bit dangerous, but this, this game has been a precarious ride the entire time. Block the emissary. Okay, bust the Rampager, take five, we go to seven, two cards left in his hand, see if we can drop some bombs here. Oh, Searing Spear is actually quite good. So now we can start spitting out, uh, spitting out wolves. And let's get a little bit of damage in, in the meantime.
Reckoner, quite good. Frontline Medic should help a lot with that. Not sure I understand that attack. That's fascinating. All right, here's what we do. We're going to do wolf here, and I think we're just going to splatter the cackler now. Makes me think he really wants to get that two damage in, so let's let's ice that plan. Emissary Medic here seems pretty good. Still chilling. Flip Mayor back. Um, three damage. So, Gorklan Rampager will kill us. So, any way I can get around Gorklan. Let me think about that. I guess I could just block with a wolf. Then he would be able to do two, two damage to our Boros Elite or Mayor. Um, or us. And if he did it to us, we would in fact die from Gorklan Rampager. Hmm. This is all around challenging. Could just block with Emissary. Still die. That's pretty tough. That is a tough spot to be in, huh? Um, that is a tough spot to be in. I think our best... Our, we're going to play around Searing Spear. There's actually... I, I don't see any possible way to play around Gorklan Rampager. Gorklan Rampager just equals death. So we're going to do uh, this. He can give it first strike. Otherwise, he has to have Gorklan Rampager. We won't lose to... We won't lose to a Searing Spear. But Frontline Medic, we would in fact lose to a Searing Spear. Um, yeah, that's not the end of the world. He is going to deal some good damage here. One card left in hand. Okay. Oh, we're on the attack plan. So we can get in for, yeah, I think we need to get in for full to make sure we have lethal next turn. So this does open him up for an attack. However, I don't think we really had the luxury of getting around that. Okay. Last card was a boar. Let's see here. Uh, Some petal grove, not really going to do it. Uh, we swing everything. Our guys are invincible. However, you can still block and do fine. We won't lose anything. He'll take four. 
but he'll be able to deal lethal to us the following turn. Yikes. Um, okay, looks like we gotta chill. If that lightning muller had been a fire fist striker, I think we would have been doing a lot better. The medic, surprisingly, poignantly, not doing enough right here. Let's see. Uh, any burn spell of some sort? No, Temple Garden's not quite not quite gonna do it. Um, uh, well, that's that's tough. Even if we got like a if we got a near Heath Pilgrim, we'd probably be fine. We'd get the life gain out of it. Yeah, near Heath Pilgrim would be good. Searing Spear would be excellent. Another medic is is probably okay. Let me think. Okay, I swing with everything now. He deals three damage to us. We go to four, which means... Or we go to five. And then the frontline medic has to live. I think we actually can attack here. And then we leave back the frontline medic. He swings with everything. Um, I think, I think we are, in fact, going to do that. So we attack with everything, he blocks the medic, deals three to us, we go to four. He could also block like that, deal two to us, take us to five, not lose anything. Block, block, take five. And then we'll be at five, and I'll have three attackers, which isn't actually lethal. I think this is the right. I think this is the right move. Okay, so he's taking five. He's going to deal two to us. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that kills us, but I think this was still our best play. Because we have a blocker for his attack now. And we were always just a Hell Rider away from losing. Well, we were, we were dead to Hell Rider anyway. We were just straight up dead to that. Um, I mean, we had no means to, to block there, so that was a top deck that he needed to win. Okay, so we'll go to the next game here. Ideally, um, do a little bit better. Can't ask for anything more than that. We will play first. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to keep this. I actually kind of like this hand. A little bit damage intensive for us, but that's okay. So get our champ down. Second turn, either Lightning Mauler or Firefish Striker. Pillar was an excellent, excellent, excellent first play for him. I think we'll start with the Mauler. Just in case we top deck a green source, since life is very relevant in this match. See if he leashes it. If he leashes it, we're actually okay. Okay. This is actually not that bad. So now we can team up with the Hamlet captain. And, uh... Ooh. Alright. Well, now that's actually worth taking some damage for. Here's what we do. Play the Hamlet captain. Soul bond. Get in.
He's taken five, and then we follow up with the Boros Elite. All right, he's getting his green source. Got a flint of boar. So searing spear would be good. Uh, Mayor of Averbrook would be amazing. Alright, him having the second pillar, unfortunately devastating for us. But uh, I guess he did uh, make it so our Lightning Mauler is no longer... No longer um, bound. Uh, yeah, well, that makes that's a little bit better. Let's uh, let's play the medic here and get in. That's some that's some good damage output there. So our guys are indestructible. Guys getting bigger. I guess he'll block the mauler. Take six. All right, he's willing to dump the cackler at this point. So he's down to 10. Let's see if he ices the frontline medic, in which case we'll still get a striker online, which isn't that bad. Reckoner. All right, that's actually not too bad of a deal. Swing back for five. So we get a Mauler. Pilgrim's decent. So he'll block three power guy. No, block a two power guy. Deal two does. Take us to eight. Have three attackers in the backswing. We'll take him to four. Have two more attackers. Also blockers for the Flintoff and the Reckoner at least. Um, yep, I think we've got to try and race here. We are at a critical point. Criti point of critical mass here. It's interesting that he would make that choice. It tells me maybe he's got double burn, something along those lines. Maybe he was just afraid to go to four in case we had the Gore Clan Rampager. Not exactly sure. Um, but he could have his dead next turn. We'll find out very shortly here. I guess it could, he could just have us dead with Gorkland Rampager, both of which work. Let's 
from Kirk Noble. All right, sweet. Got the match. That way, I mean, doesn't get much closer than that, folks. I'll say that. I mean, we were a go we were literally a Gorkland rampager away from death, a uh, land and a hell rider, perhaps one or the other. But uh, I'm glad we got there. So I'll see you in the last round, round four.